<laughs> Lux Deluxe Golf Balls by Strike. These are the new four piece golf balls. These are the new three piece golf balls. The plan, the plan is to test these today while I still have a little bit of daylight. golf balls they both came extremely fast part of the reasons I bought TP5s isn't because you know I had extra money and I was balling we fly, no lie. you know this outside it's like showbiz no the thing was that when I'm driving a tractor trailer I needed stores with the big giant parking lot some place like Walmart or Dix or Academy where I could pull over and buy some golf balls. Trying to ship golf balls to one state, hoping that the golf balls are there when I get to that state and then I can pick them up. Man, like if I really need some golf balls, let's say I run out of golf balls, which probably should never ever happen. But if I did run out of golf balls, I need to be able to have might be able to get some more while I'm in order to play. So you need golf balls to play golf, duh. So that was the reason why I never ordered Vice Golf Balls or Strike. Uh, things we do for content. Like, share, subscribe. They got their own cart. They can play. They can go ahead. Now, if you know me, I don't practice. Or occasionally I practice. But practice we talking about practice we talking about practice not a game not a game not a game we talking about practice i hop out the truck i swing this a few times <laughs> coronavirus coronavirus i swing this a few times i swing the power hitter a few times and then i go straight to the first tee box like a man i'm a man i'm 40 I was thinking, why compare? We have the thing about comparing stuff immediately, and I get it. But why not just see if the strike and the the deluxe and the lux is just a quality golf ball? Then can I just see if I can play with it? I mean, it checks all the boxes. It's white. It has dimples. Has a number on it. I'm pretty sure if I hit it wrong, it'll go in the woods, go in the water, go in the trees. So let's let's just see if I can it's a quality golf ball that I can play with. Game day dog. Game day dog. Game day dog. Game day dog. The dog for truck girl. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Did you see that hop and stop? That's from a three-piece ball. What? Game day dog. The golf and trucker. Game day dog. Game day dog. The golf and trucker. Game. Day
day dog. Man, I love the way this ball interacted with the green. It's hard to see, but this is the ball mark here, and that's where the ball ended up. This is the Deluxe. Over here, about the same, this is the ball mark, and that's where the ball ended up. I would say it was about the same. Game day dog. Game day dog. Game day dog. Game day dog. The dog for trucker. So here's my test. I have old school face putter, no insert, no gel, no, I don't know, no nothing. It's just one solid hunk of steel. I'm not going to try to make this putt. Please understand that. When I putt, what I want to see is that the ball goes where I, the distance that I expected to roll. If you play golf, well, you already watch the video, but if you have a really hard golf ball, like a nitro or just a regular two-piece golf ball, you hit it, explodes off the putter face, it rolls 17 feet past the hole. Have a really soft golf ball, you hit it, comes up short because you didn't hit it hard enough. I want to see that if I think the ball is going to roll eight feet and I hit the ball, I want it to go about eight feet. Not really short, not really far. And no click. Like cheap golf balls have a clicky sound. I never understood what that meant. And I don't have any cheap golf balls on me. These are affordable golf balls. So when they come off the putter face, I don't want to hear click. That's it. Let's see if the distance test. Now, I might make these. I probably will make it, but I'm not trying to make it. I'm just naturally good like that. Oh, that sounds hard off the putter face. Next up, the Deluxe. Better than most. Better than most. That boy is good. Game day dog. Game day dog. Game day dog. Game day dog. The dog for truck girl. I know the sun's in the background, but I always wanted to test out this uh stripe golf ball and check out the spin on it. So I have my 60 degree RTX 4 and I'm going to put my super spin shot on the ball. Green's about 100 yards away. Let's see what happens. That's a lot of spin. Your ball don't do that. Use the wrong ball.